Writing is a creative, freeing, and incredible experience that allows you to express yourself through stories or through journaling or through nonfiction, right? It allows you to put your thoughts on paper and to share them with other people if you want to. But why don't people do it more, even the people that really want to? It's because when you ask them, they say that they're afraid, that they're afraid. What are they afraid of? Well, let me tell you what people say. They say that they're afraid of not writing well. They're afraid of what others will think of them. They're afraid that they won't have anything to say or anything to contribute. They are afraid of that it'll take all their spare time. I'm one of those people that used to be afraid of that. Uh, they're afraid that people will actually hate what they're writing. Uh, they're afraid that, that if they are writers already, that it won't be as good as their previous book or something that they wrote in the past. They're just afraid. Fear, 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 right? They're afraid. Why are they afraid? So we're going to talk today about how not to be afraid and how to keep writing even when you are afraid, uh, but really that you have nothing to fear. So let's talk about that today. You have a story to tell but you don't know where to start. Let me show you how to free your story. I teach you how to write and how to dig deep in your soul to release your story and make a difference in the world. Welcome to the Julia Monte channel for Just Media. I am Julia and I am a women's fiction author. So today we're going to talk about why people don't write when they really want to write, or at least when they say they want to write. Um, and it's like I, like I mentioned, people say that they're afraid, right? That they, they're fearful. Um, and I get it because, you know, you are being vulnerable when you write. You're putting down your own thoughts uh, and you're ex kind of exposing yourself to other people, right? So I, the only thing that I think people are more fearful of than they are writing is public speaking. People are definitely afraid to get out there and speak in public. Um, and again, why? Because you are putting yourself out there. You're, you're kind of exposing your soul, yourself to other people and uh, nobody wants that. Nobody likes that, right? You feel uncomfortable when you are opening yourself up to other people. And if you feel that because you're not published, that's why you're afraid. No, <laughs> even published writers, even people who have been writing for many, many years, feel that way. So uh, an author in 2018, jo uh, was it uh, um, Joan Johnston, uh, wrote, uh, she was interviewed for an article and she admitted that she was afraid. Um, and when they asked her like, what are you afraid of? And she says, well, I'm scared to death with every single book that I write. I'm afraid that it, you know, won't be as good as the previous one that I wrote. Uh, she's afraid that, you know, people, that she won't be able to think of a new plot. She's afraid that the conflict won't be good. She's afraid that the characters are all going to start sounding the same because she's written over 60 books at that time, 2018, uh, that the voices won't be as unique, that, you know, even the sex scenes will kind of sound boring. So does this sound familiar to you? Uh, yes, right? So even somebody who is multi-published, who has had an amazing career, can still feel that fear. So don't feel bad if you do feel that way because it is common. We all tend to feel afraid sometimes when we're putting ourselves out there, but uh, we can't let that stop us, right? So obviously she's afraid, but she's written that many books. That means she still, she can get over this, right? And she can move on and so can we. So what can we do? The first thing, if you're gonna be a writer, right? You have to be able to embrace rejection. You just have to. Rejection is part of writing. And if we're honest, it's part of life, right? You get rejected for everything. You get rejected all the time when you're, you know, right out of high school and you uh, tried to get into your favorite college. You might've been rejected for that. We get rejected by love interests and partners. We get rejected for jobs that we really want. Uh, you know, we get rejected by our kids and, you know, hopefully that goes away at some point, but we do, right? When they get to be teenagers, they're rejecting us. So well, it's part of life. We have to get comfortable with being rejected because it's part of moving on. It's part of life. Sometimes life says, no, this isn't for you. Or they say, or life says, you know, not right now. This isn't the right publisher for you. This isn't the right story for you. So there's there are reasons and we don't always know why, but we do know that if we're going to live, we're going to have to live with rejection and we're going to have to be able to move forward and do something different or keep working 
at that, that thing that we want until we're able to get it. So why should it be any different for writers, right? We're going to get rejected. If you are a writer and you're sending your book out to publishers and editors and agents, you're, they're going to reject you. It's just part of the whole process. Uh, and even if you're self-publishing, uh, you, you could still get rejected by the readers, right, that, that don't buy your books. So um, not to, you know, be a complete downer here, but it's just part of being a writer. So the way that we get over this is, be, is we try to use this as a, grow, a way to grow. If we're being rejected by a publisher for a certain story, uh, we can take that opportunity to say, well, okay, was it just not right for this publishing house or was there something wrong with the book? What can I do? What can I change? How can I grow? How can I become better? How can I strengthen this story? What can I do to make it a little better and send it out again? And then as, when it comes back, reject it again, we do the same thing. Okay, what, you know, did they say something? Is there something that I can improve on? Is the pacing wrong? Are my characters not interesting enough? Are there too many characters? Whatever, right? There could be a million things that are wrong with the book. Uh, and this allows you to grow, to improve yourself, to improve your story, and to be able to get it out again, or to move on to a different story and say, you know, this one has been rejected multiple times. Maybe it's just not the story. Or maybe I've rewritten it so many times it really has no heart anymore and I just need to move on to a different story. That can happen. And then that next story might be one that just doesn't get rejected or one that gets, uh, you know, rejected less until it actually gets uh, accepted, right? So the next thing that you should do uh, to make rejection a little easier is notice improvement. So it goes along with this first one, right? So we're going to accept that with that we're going to get rejected. We're going to try to grow with each time that we're rejected to, to make a better story. Uh, and then the next thing is to notice the improvement. So notice, give yourself credit that you're getting better. So where are you getting better? What's, you know, what are you doing better now that you weren't doing before? Um, and sometimes it takes a while to actually realize that, to actually see that, right? And it took me a while at the beginning where at first I was getting just these form letter rejections. I had no idea why I was getting rejected. Uh, all I knew is I was a new writer and I probably wasn't that good. And I just kept reading and kept learning, right? And then I noticed after two, three years that, you know, I'm, I'm not really making the same mistakes that I used to make. I'm, I'm actually improving. This is better. And the rejections got a little better. Sometimes I'd get a note from an editor, right? Or I'd get, um, you know, I'd get something from them saying, no, we didn't like this or this wasn't right, but we really did like this part. And that was better. It was a better rejection. So sometimes we don't even notice that we are improving over time, but notice those improvements. Notice how you're getting better. Sometimes one of the reasons we feel bad when we get rejected is because a little part of us sort of agrees with the rejection, right? A little part of us is saying, yeah, I, you know, I kind of expected them to pass on this story. I kind of expected them not to like this story because yeah, it's got some problems and you know, you, you, you aren't confident enough in your story to be able to not feel bad when you're rejected because you, you, you kind of agree with it, right? So, um, you know, authors that have gotten rejected multiple times, and there's all these stories, right, of all these different writers that have gotten rejected 25 times, even, you know, 60 times. And why do these people keep sending out their story? Why do they keep trying to get this same book published when so many editors and so many publishers said, no, it's not good? Because the opposite of what I just said, right? Something inside them says, no, I know this story is good. They're just not seeing it. I know it's good. I've changed this. I've done this. And I know this story is good. And I have confidence in it. And, and, and it's not hurting me when they're rejecting. It's actually making me upset because I know it's good. So they send it out again, right? So you need to get to that point where you're like, wait, this is a great story. And I did things and I, I am a better writer and I've had it checked and I've had, uh, you know, friends read it and I know it's a good story. So you keep trying, right? So g get to that point where you're feeling better. You've noticed the improvements in your writing and now that rejection really isn't hurting as much. It's more making you more determined to keep improving, but to keep writing and keep sending your story out. The other thing is that we, sometimes we, we, are, we, we don't want to be rejected because we fear 
other people's opinions, right? So when someone says, well, I'm afraid of what other people will think, or I'm afraid that people will hate it, they're really saying they're afraid of other people's opinions and, and that they don't want other people not to like them or to make fun of them or to, you know, all of that. And the truth is, okay, the truth is most of these people will never do that. They're not going to make fun of you. They're going to probably say, wow, that's really cool. You're writing a book. That's, that's awesome, right? Um, and even if they do, they probably won't do it in front of you. <laughs> and even if they do say something rude in front of you or, or criticize you, uh, who cares, right? Who cares what people, other people say? Are you really, really honestly going to not write your book and not follow your dream because you're afraid of what somebody else thinks? Like seriously, who cares what they think? Um, I read this really good uh, article about this health professional and he was saying that he used to care, like he used to care what other people would say about him as a, as a medical professional. Uh, and then finally, one day he was like, well, wait a minute, I'm not really, I'm not in my, in this job for them. I'm not in this job for the approval of other doctors. I'm here for my patients. And if my patients are happy and I know I'm doing really good things for them, who cares what my colleagues think, right? Now we care a little bit, right? Because we're, we're, we're in the profession, we're with other writers, whatever. So we, we do care a little bit, but you have to think that you're really writing for your readers and that's who you should have in mind. So really who cares if your sister approves, your mom approves or somebody else that really isn't in writing that really uh, has nothing constructive to say and doesn't understand what you're doing, right? We wanna care about our readers. That's who we wanna care about. Pausing for a second to let you know about a couple of courses that I've created. If you're a beginning writer and you want some help with your book, I just wanna let you know that I do have a basic course on how to write and I'm gonna post it below. And if you're not a beginning writer, but you are uh, more established and you're ready to publish your work, you have your novel written, I also have a publishing course and I will also post it below. So take a look at it. Maybe there'll be just what you're looking for. All right, let's go back to the video now. But just remember, most people really aren't thinking about you and they really don't care very much. If you said, you know, I'm writing or here's a story or, you know, they'd probably just say, great, you know, good luck with that. And then they'll go on to something else that they're doing. They're not really thinking about you. So follow your dreams, right? And don't worry what other people think. Now, another thing that people are afraid of, right, is wasting their time, spending all this time writing this story and then finding out that it wasn't very good and then or that you can't sell it or you wasted all this time now because now it, it was for nothing but i guess what i have to say to that is like why would you feel that way if you love writing if you've had a good time with your story then why would you feel that it was a waste of time even if it never sells even if the book does terrible was it really a waste of time if you spent your time doing something that you love to do? So if you went on vacation, if you took your family to Hawaii and you had an, a, a whole week where you just sat on the beach and watched your kids play or watched the surf and had a few drinks, read a book, just it's kind of a waste of time, isn't it? You, you're just doing nothing. You're just sitting there wasting a whole week of your life, just sitting on a beach doing nothing. <laughs> so. Doesn't that sound silly, right? Like, of course, it's not a waste of time. It's great because you're enjoying yourself. You're relaxing. You're, you're sitting in the sun. You're drinking great drinks, right? So writing should be the same. If you love it, if you love it, then it's not a waste of time. It doesn't matter if it ever sells. It doesn't matter if anybody ever approves. It doesn't matter because you're enjoying what you're doing. You're creating stories. You're being creative. You're using your mind. You're, you're, you know, you're putting down your thoughts and, and that's great. That's great. So don't think of it as a waste of time, just if it doesn't sell. That's a completely different thing, right? The actual act of writing, the art of writing is, uh, you know, is something that's just for you. It's something that you're enjoying doing, even if it never sells. So what I want to inspire you to do is to just go out there and create boldly. Do what you want with your stories. Write whatever you are inspired to write and spend the time doing it. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about whether it will sell. Don't worry about whether it's going to be good. Don't worry about whether anyone's going to like it. Uh, you are just there to write your story, to put your thoughts, to put your creativity into your computer and to create this amazing story that you love. Then once you're done and it's time to go 
edit your story, fix it, that's when you're going to go back and you're going to be a little more critical and you're going to edit and you're going to let people read it and you're going to make changes if needed. But while you're writing, don't worry about it. Just do what you need to do, write your story, uh, and be happy with it. So go out there, keep writing, keep creating, and, and don't worry about anything else. Um, don't, don't let fear stop you, because if you let fear stop you, then isn't it sad that there's something that you love to do and you just never try it because you're afraid? Don't let that happen. Go out there, write your story, and I'm sure it'll be great.